What's up guys, I'm Ari from Wirefly.com and I'm here with a Sony Ericsson Equinox which is basically a slightly updated and changed version of the T707 we saw introduced all the way back in March just before CTIA and just from the looks on the outside here it seems to be a little bit sleeker with possibly some design changes but we will get it out of the box and then take a closer look at it and on the side here unique light effects for calls and messages 3G phone, built-in GPS, 3.2 megapixel camera apparently a integrated YouTube application which we'll check out quickly FM radio, stereo Bluetooth and also it looks like a memory stick micro port so it will not support micro SD cards not surprising given that Sony develops memory stick micro let's pull that out more comprehensive list of the features here on the back. But let me pull in my unnecessarily big knife here and we'll slice this open. Here is the Equinox. with lots of plastic. So we'll set that aside for a second. You can see how slim that is. Let's see what we got here. Of course our getting started guide. Safety guidelines. Services guide. Important information. Same thing in Spanish. And some other things. Also, like we see almost always nowadays, nice little recycling pack, send back your old phone, be environmentally friendly. Wall charger proprietary port there and also an included pair of headphones with what looks to be the same Sony proprietary port and then again same port for USB syncing and finally the battery So let's get this plastic off. And we will slip in the battery and then come right back. And we're back with the Equinox. And I've played with it for a few minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and say that for a sort of throwback clamshell flip phone like the Equinox, fairly impressed with the feature set, particularly since the focus is obviously on style on this guy with the light effects and slim form factor. But on the outside here, you have a hidden screen, which kind of blends into the background when it's off. But then you can reactivate it using that volume key to check the time. Of course it comes back alive when you get a phone call or text message. And then this area here is actually a spot for the light effects, which I'll show you with the lights off a little bit later. And then this half circle actually pulsates white. And of course you got your 3.2 megapixel camera there, which can actually record video and then upload to YouTube. And on the left side there you have Sony's proprietary port, which is going to accept the headphones, uh, wall charger, and sync cable. Here's your volume rocker. You get a four-way D key on the inside, a couple soft keys, shortcut menu key. Can you give you quick access to your camera? Then as we'll see throughout the menu system, you get the tab menus up here. You can see completely flat keys, very stylized there, kind of a metallic finish. 
Very interesting texture. If you can hear that. T-Mobile My Fave support here. But we'll jump into the menu, see what we got. So as far as messaging goes, you do have conversation windows for your text messaging. It's a nice conversation view. Mobile email support. You do have your standard fare for instant messaging, AIM, Windows Live, and Yahoo. Record voice notes. Let's check out the media options. So you have a nice entertainment menu. And within video, you'll find your YouTube app. Now we don't have great Timo service down here at our studio, so we probably won't be able to watch your video. But I did try it upstairs, and fairly decent streaming quality, even though it is a QVGA screen, so it's not going to look that great. It doesn't look like that's going to pull up, given our lack of service down here. A couple games. There's the radio function. You're going to need to connect your uh, headphones, which is actually going to act as the radio antenna. Web to go for mobile web browsing. So it comes with a demo tour. So that area down there is going to be the light effects area. Probably enough of that. Back to the menu. Here's your settings menu. Again, the tabbed browsing up here. Where you can turn on and off gesture control. Just to wave over it. Uses the uh, camera actually to sense your hand. We'll silence a call. You do have some voice control options, voice dialing, and voice answer. You can also choose to play the caller's name as calls come in. Turn on and off your light effects. Calendar. A nice file manager built in. And also Bluetooth remote control, which, since this is just a quick hands-on, didn't get a chance to play with. But you can see advanced options like that throughout the phone. We'll check out My People. You see Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, but they're actually just links, which is going to take you right into Web2Go. So not the tight integration like we've seen with some more advanced smartphones. But here's the contact I made, Johnny Johnson. So we'll open him up and then edit. And use our tabs to get to light effect. So we'll flip off the lights and see what we got. We play that first one. You can probably tell that it's slightly pulsating the white area here. And then you got a red indicator. Kind of a purple. green uh, almost a whitish and then finally my favorite blue and that is a quick look at the Sony Ericsson Equinox which for a flip phone very stylized actually has a number of options and won't set you back too much so a good deal here on the Equinox which will likely be available from Wirefly in the very near future I'm Ari from Wirefly.com thanks for watching remember to click that subscribe button and we will see you here next time Wire.